channel. It's your boy Dominic back at it again. If it's your first time seeing my face, smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, and don't forget to comment. Today we have a recent pickups video. As you can see, I got a bunch of fun new stuff here. You can also see that there's a bit of a theme. Everything is like very neutral earth tones because like this is like my fall winter wardrobe and all my recent pickups over the last, I would say three to four months. So let's just jump right into it. Starting with this first piece, this I got from a consignment store here in Toronto, Sixth Family, I think that's a reference to Toronto, Drake, all that fun stuff. You can see there's Drake on the back with a bunch of other kind of famous people. And I just really like it. Yeah, I got it at a consignment store here in Toronto and I got it for a really good price. It's a very boxy fit. Yeah, so it's a large tee. No, it's actually an extra large tee. And I think it was like printed for someone's birthday. I really like the feel and the cut of it. It's a very like thicker shirt than I usually have. So this is a great find from that consignment store. If I can remember the name, I will link it. The next one is from F is in Frank. I got a bunch of stuff because unfortunately they're closing, which is so sad, but they were having a really big sale. So I picked up this graphic tee. It actually says hang loose right there on the little chest. And then it has a really big graphic on the back, hang loose again. I really love this because it's more of an off-white color. And it honestly has some stains on it, but I think that really adds to like the interest of the piece. And I think it's like, just really goes well with a lot of the pieces I usually wear. As you can see, I really love my neutrals, so this fits in really, really well. Again, from Epis and Frank, we have another graphic tee. This one says munchies right here on the front with the little Pac-Man logo, eating all the food. And that's honestly just me, so <laughs> that this is perfect. I posted a couple pictures of this on Instagram. If you don't follow me already, it's at Dom by Design 9. You can follow me over there to get all the quick updates. This fits really nicely and it's like a super interesting piece that I just didn't have before. I have no shirts this color, so I figured I would might as well pick this up. Then I went to Clamonico as well. You guys already know I love Clamonico so, so much. And I got this flannel in a size extra large. You guys know I'm a, usually a medium, but I got it in, a, in an extra large for like a little bit more of an oversized fit. So I could probably layer a sweater, a hoodie, all that stuff going into the fall winter months. And I chose this color because I wanted something a little bit lighter. As you can see on this side, I have all my flannels here. Most of them are like darker colors or just plain old black or gray. So I figured I'd go for something a little bit lighter. So this one is an off-white with just like a tan colored piping. It's like a window pane kind of design. Really love this. This is super soft and warm and I've already worn this to death. So definitely love this one. I will have everything linked down below. One of my favorite pieces from the last few months is this Uniqlo, like basically like a teddy jacket. But the thing that I love about this one is that it's not really like that clumpy teddy style. It's more of like a smooth, like streamlined kind of fur and it's like super, super soft. And this was only $35 at Uniqlo. This comes in so many different colors. I honestly want to go back and pick up a whole bunch more, but we shall see how that goes. <laughs> I tried my best not to shop that much. Clearly that didn't really happen, but I stuck to pieces that I knew I was gonna have for a long time and could stand the test of time. Like this one, this is a classic uh, schoolboy V-neck sweater. It's like a chunky knit, super soft merino wool. And I got this in a size large, again, for that more oversized slouchy look without looking like I'm drowning in it. This is honestly one of my favorite pieces right now, and I've worn it so much. I'm trying my best not to shop as much and be a little bit more intentional with my shopping. 
I chose to shop at a more sustainable store. This is actually from Cotton uh, here in Toronto. They are a sustainable brand and they actually made these cargo pants, which are in, I think they're called the workwear pants. This is in the beige colorway. They come in so many different colors and they're so, so comfortable, trendy, and they fit super, super well. And I know I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of these. I definitely already have already worn them to death. So these are gonna be a great piece going into the winter time. This is their unlearned tote. This was a project that they were doing to promote literacy and building of schools in their for their farmers and the workers that they have. So yeah, I got this one from Cotton as well. And I think it's great because it forces me to carry this around, not have to get a plastic bag and be a little more intentional in the way that I am consuming goods and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. So the next piece is actually what I have on right now. I have on the cotton sweatsuit. I honestly forget what the names are. I'll have them linked down below. This one is in their sea moss color. I really love it. I've been literally living in this for the past two weeks now that I've had this. I ended up picking up the hoodie in a medium and the pants in a large. Uh, initially, I was gonna get a medium in the pants and a large in the hoodie, but they were actually sold out of those sizes, so I got these ones, and I'm actually really happy with this. Love the pants being a size large because they're super loungy. I feel like super cozy in them, and I feel like it's like a warm hug. I also got the matching socks. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this sweatsuit. It's super comfortable, super soft, and it fits really, really well. And again, it's sustainable and it's made well, and you know it's gonna last you a long time. So I'm really happy about this. In terms of outerwear, I got two jackets, this being the first one. This is a Carhartt jacket. Uh, again, in that earth tone color, beige with the like darker collar. This is super, super warm and I love this. I even like layer it over this sometimes when I'm going out and I just want like something super quick. I'll throw it on right now. And I just really love this because it is super, super oversized. And it's like honestly kind of dirty, but I like that. Honestly completes any fit and like makes it a little bit more edgy, a little more kind of hype beast in a way. Honestly, you can't go wrong with a Carhartt jacket going into fall winter. This one is a Bob Marley t-shirt. Yeah, every, if you guys don't know, I am Jamaican. And so this was perfect. And I actually don't have a lot of black graphic tees like this. So I thought this was be, would be perfect. This is a little bit more oversized. Again, boxy. You guys can see a trend here. And yeah, I just thought this would be a really great pickup. Again, this is from, I think this is another thrift store find, but I can't remember 100%. But yeah, love this. clothing item at least is going to be this vintage jacket it says Midas it also says someone's name it says Vince on there I love this jacket it's leather and like a, it's like a varsity jacket style with the leather on the arms it's really really warm and it's super comfy cozy oversized giving you Madison beer vibes with this but yeah I love it and I've been wearing it a lot. And last but not least, I have these Air Force Ones. I know everyone has these, it's no surprise, nothing new, but I've literally been trying my best not to buy these shoes. I've been trying to find like variations and not be like everyone else, but Honestly, I see why everyone has these shoes. They're super comfortable, super cheap, and like, to be honest, I've like creased them a bit, but they've actually held up really well. I've had these for like four months now, five months, and they still look really, really white. I've made me clean them once, if that. Yeah, they've held up really nicely, and I they honestly just go with everything. Gotta love the Air Force Ones. There's a reason why they're a staple and they're always sold out everywhere. 
because they are amazing. And you should pick some up too. So I have them linked down below. Alrighty guys, so that ends off our recent pickups video. I really hope you guys liked it. Let me know down below in the comments. Hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you for everyone that's already subscribed. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and that would really mean the world to me. And honestly, just enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye guys. <laughs>